Hello everybody on YouTube, it's Mike and Rich with you. Once Hi. again, we're out at the flying field and look at the collection today, man. Let's have a little roll call. Sound out there, Richie, what do we got? We got a rat, we got a space walker, and a bipe. You're just generic bipe. I like it. But that's, is, yeah, go ahead. And this is my very first one. Oh yes, the, ever. Im the immortal chicken hawk. Yeah, it still flies good. And and that I still remember how good the chicken leg quarters were that came in. <laughs> and I got a few here today too. Yeah, oh, you got the whole. I got the whole arsenal. Sweet. There's a uh, catapult launch glider made out of foam. That one wasn't too successful. There's our little um, micro Goldberg Ranger, our little bit bigger Ranger. Here's the uh, airplane that we did the build along video, capacitor powered. That was the prototype. There's our little mi mini or micro Dakota. There's our other one from the build along video feature. Here's one that we took the uh, model style from the build along video and put full house radio control in it. We'll fly that one for you here in a minute. And then also we've got our semi-scale foamy profile BD5 with the pusher electric and uh, that's capacitor power too. So a lot of cool stuff in store. I see Richie putting the charge on that one. I'm gassing it up. Gassing it up with electrons. Pumping in the electromotive force. Oh, there's ion action going on as we speak. I'm sure there is, and plenty of it. Crazy. You know, we got a little breeze here. You're not uh, concerned about that, I take it. Uh, well, that's why I got this one. I figured this is my worst flying one. Yeah, put up, put up the one that. Uh, a piece of shit. There you go. <laughs> yeah, as I recall, it flew pretty nice. No, but the wind is coming and going here. Uh, every once in a while it gets up to three, four, maybe five mile an hour. And then you get spells where it comes down to almost nothing. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you guys. We got the MIG here today, too. The old MIG. We're going to do some test flying with that. I put a new, bigger motor in it. Well, it looks like Richard's ready to go. Wow. Richie, have you flown this again since the maiden flight day? No, no, but I, I just, I worked on it. I guess I shouldn't have. Oh, boy. Is there such a thing as it flies too good? Now, that glide should straighten out as it runs down. Wow, good long flight. Nice and stable. She's going into a cruise phase now, not really even coming down. Hope you guys at home can see this. Wow, not, bad. not bad is right. Wow. Now she's straightening out. Now heading towards the other side of the road. Ready with the stopwatch. In the tree. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you said it. Oh, I think I saw it move a little bit in the tree. I think we're going to shake that one out. Don't look too bad. Oh, there it is, Richie. It's down. It just fell down out of the tree. I, I remember these bushes. Yeah, <laughs> I've been in these bushes a few times. Same exact place I retrieved another one. Look at that. Back in your hand. The bird that has flown has returned home. Oh, the rat. Nice flight, Rich. <laughs> Thanks. That was unbelievable. Ah, uh, uh, not bad. We'll time that one off the video. Well, I trimmed it since our last maiden flight. Yeah. And I haven't flown it. Well, I'd say it works. 
Yeah, all the adjustments were good. Don't do nothing, that one. Uh, Alright, let's go see how thanks. those other ones go. Yeah, that was a great flight, man. Awesome, man. Great flight. Well, it's, a, it's March 27th. It's about 50, 55 degrees out here. Farmer is out there with his manure spreader. As Richie posed the eternal question, who flung the dung? There's the guy right there. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful out. All right, we're gonna try something here. I wanna tell you guys about my little capacitor MIG experiment here. Um, I wanted to make like a ducted fan with capacitor power. So I put this together out of foam. And originally I had a six millimeter 615 motor in there with a little pusher prop and I had a plastic duct that I cannibalized off of a uh, little micro quad. So uh, I did some flights with it and I think about the best we ever did was about 15 seconds. It wasn't particularly promising uh, and, and since then I've put a seven millimeter motor in it and I don't know if you can see it it's got a big cheater hole in the belly to let more air in. The thrust was negligible without the big cheater hole. You definitely need that. And the capacitor is up under the canopy. A little switch on the side. And uh, I, before we fly it here today with this new 7 millimeter motor and see how it goes, I have put together a little montage of uh, clips, uh, flying clips from when it had this, the original 615 motor. Uh, and I'll run those for you right now and th these shots are from last summer and uh, when after you take a look at those uh, we'll come back and see how the improvements worked out if they did there it was <laughs> Yup. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, dude, I don't know if I got that. Well, that one didn't fall out. No. Pretty straight. <laughs> straight like arrow. All right, we're going, we are going to try the MIG. Yeah, but we're going to try the MIG. Here we go. <laughs> Mighty Meg. Yeah, that's about as that's about as good as that one gets. That one's gonna get a lipo and an electronic timer, and we are gonna watch it fly someday. But we're not. Okay, Richie, ready with his biplane.
Oh, nice. <laughs> nice flight, Rich. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow, that flies nice. Holy cow, that's way up there, Rich. It's still up there. It's coming right back here. And, and, and she's down. What a flight, Rich. I thought that was goner. Well, we've been getting some tremendous flights here today. Air's a little bumpy, we got a little breeze. We're flirting with the trees, but uh, but all in all, it's pretty nice. Richie yeah. putting the final charge here to his <clears throat> 20 farad, 820 motor powered, right? Yep. Two 10 uh, farad ca caps and an 820 motor. And boy, that flies nice. That flies nice. Let's see what she'll do. Wow. Right in the sun. Oh, now it's going to do one of them deals. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's in my favor. Yeah, <laughs> coming back home. <laughs> yeah. Ready with your stopwatch. Yeah, baby. Oh. Down. Beauty, beauty. All right, we're going to try to BD5 foamy. We just put up a flight on this. It went great, and the video camera wasn't working right. So, time for a redo, Rich. Okay. If you would do the honors. I don't know if I can beat that last one. I know, but. That was such a great flight. Give it the exact same launch, okay? Because that's what's going to make it work. Yeah. I can hear that 10 inch drive shaft. Yeah. Now it's heading for the woods. Oh, let it sit out there. We'll go get it in a minute, Rich. Coming back. Coming back, and she is down right there. Nice. We'll, we'll go pick that up in a minute. That was a good flight, Not bad. All right. Tell you what, I want to fly next. Oh, we're almost out of video time here, so uh, I guess we're gonna. Uh, That's a wrap. No, it ain't a wrap yet, cause I got another video uh, chip. I'm going to take time and change it out, though. So we're going to take five and be back with you guys with uh, more flying action here.
Not bad. Are you handing it to I, me? I am handing it to you. <laughs> okay. We're going to try the little Spitfire. I thought you were admiring it. I was admiring it. I was trying to turn my camera on. You going to launch that for us, would yeah. you? Is it all wound up? It's all wound up, man. The rubber band's all wound up. Okay, here it goes. Yes, sir. Out, you Nazis. <laughs> yeah, she's down. Good little flight. That's not a duration flyer. All right, Richie, we're going to fly the Dakota, man. We haven't flown this one in a long time. We'll see if how the trims stay set up <laughs> three, four months at a time. <laughs> This one always used to uh, climb left. Yeah, that'll be a pretty good charge right there. Uh, get that plug out of it. There we go. Shake it, shake it, baby. Yes, sir. Little cutie, let it sit there. We know where it is. We'll put up in the, your first one. That I think, yeah, that might have been the first one I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you wouldn't mind putting that one up. Oh, that's a pre flight. That is pre flight, yeah. Oh. Capacitor powered, ready to go. That's, a beauty. that's the one we built from the, from the build along video. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay, she pulled out of it. I was ready to hit the deck. It's all right, it's one of ours. Well. Yeah. You might say that. Wow. Yeah, the trim ain't too bad, huh? There it is, ready with your stopwatches at home, and it's down. Nice one. <laughs> Exercise in all the planes for the first time in the spring. Oh, a whole herd of capacitor planes here, and the granddaddy of them all, Richie's first capacitor job made from the chicken trays. Yeah. It is the, uh, what do we call Six that? Millimeter. Straight six millimeter motor. Yeah, chicken delight. Yeah. Chick fil A. Chick fil A, baby. Nothing but the filet of foam. down. Yeah, well, we used to be happy with, with shorter flights when we first started out, Rich. We're, we've gone beyond that a little bit. All right, we're going to fly the uh, the little bit bigger Ranger 30 here. It's a Ranger 19, I guess. Here we go. Fighting that headwind. Holy cow. much headwind. <laughs> Worst landing it ever had and it's all. All right, we're going to give the MiG one more chance to redeem itself here. <laughs> yeah, that one's just not going to hack the mission with a capacitor, is it, Rich? That's a candidate for lipo battery. Yet. And written yet this right. <laughs> yeah we're gonna put a lipo in that and an electronic timer the airframe 
is stable enough, it'll fly, but it just doesn't have the power or the duration or the capacitor. A valiant effort nonetheless, and not soon to be forgotten. And we just watched this one. Too bad we didn't have the video camera going for this little yellow one. This just put up the most epic flight. Must have been a minute and a half to a minute 45. We uh, thought it was going in the woods over there, man. Right. He's a liar, but he's not lying this time. Right. That was the truth. <laughs> it was great airplane, man. Great airplane. <laughs> I'm gonna put up the BD-5 here, kids. Here we go. You say you had BD five times? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that wasn't the good flight. Oh, look at the vultures over there, man. Look, look at the vultures. Catch that thermal, Rich. They're showing you right where it is. If you want to lose an airplane, this is how you do it. That could have been that fart I left over there. Look at them rising. Must be all the carrots I've been eating. Must be. Me too. They were good. All right, tapes rolling, baby. Okay. Spitfire, take one. Take one. Seems like we're into a little sink, and we're rolling. <laughs> hey guys, Richie and I, we just had the best bunch of flights, but there's a little bit of a breeze coming up. Uh, so we're, we packed up the free flight cap jobs. Richie got his full basket of fun there, and I got my box of fun over here. And uh, there's just a little bit of a breeze, so uh, we're going to fly one RC flight real quick. Now you guys remember these. This is the series of planes from the build-along video. The original prototype, capacitor powered. Then the one that we actually built during the video. And we uh, just flew that one. That flew great. Look at the vulture right over. And then um, I took the airframe, built a little bit wider fuselage, um, made it so it opens up. Oop, if I can get it. And you can see there's full house radio control in that ultra micro gear. So I'm going to put a battery in it. Richie going to fly this, do a little demo flight for us. You can see it's got ailerons, elevator, rudder, and the uh, little receiver has a built-in um, speed control. So let's get this set up. I'm going to shut the camera off and turn back on for the uh, rolling. I just put a battery in that thing. Where's the ailerons, on the right or the left? On the right. Um, oh, you got them coupled? It, no, they're not coupled. You, you, you use the ailerons during normal flying, but if it ain't turning enough, kick in a little rudder the same way oh. with your left thumb, that's all. Okay. All right? Yeah. yeah, and keep it in pretty close so we can enjoy the flight with you. It will turn with the ailerons, but if it doesn't turn enough, and at low throttle the ailerons are almost useless, but the rudder always works. I think we weighed this one out at home, Rich, and it's uh, 21 and a half grams, so it's it's under an ounce flying weight Which is pretty light for a full house RC man full channel four channel You can dead stick it and use the rudder to steer it. All 
All right, don't be scared, Richie. Bring it down here. <laughs> Knock, that's all right. Knock the door off it, that's all. <laughs>